Welcome to the Spinning Planet E107 video tutorials. In this first tutorial, I'm going to show you how to log into the admin area of your website. Then I'm going to show you the functionality inside there, just an overview, and then we'll quickly create an editor page, and then we'll also create site links, which are these main bits up the top here. So let us just get started here. Right, to log into your website, you can either just click on the admin link at the bottom of your page here. It may not always be in the bottom right hand side, but it's normally in the bottom. Or you can just type forward slash admin at the end of your domain name like this. And that takes you into the admin area. So this is a basic install of one of our websites. You've probably got more icons, but let me just explain these main ones. So first there's site links. Let me show you what that is. So if I just bring this over here and open up another window, put that to there. So site link links corresponds to these links up the top here. Pages and content blocks correlates to pages such as the home page or the about us page and content blocks of these areas at the bottom here. There's also contact us. Now that's separate and it's in modules because it's a smart piece of software. So it records everybody that contacts you. So at the end of the year, you can go back and analyze all those people that contacted you and you might say 10 of them became clients and they were of X value. So the website has generated X amount of dollars. There's also this other fancy module that we've developed called the the search engine optimization module, and this module helps you get found by Google. But I'll explain that in more detail in our third video tutorial. In this one, I just want you to get used to the system. So you can either quickly um, access these items here, or you can access them from these top menus as well. And there's a couple of other things in there as well, such as meta tags, but we won't worry about those for now. Um, and if you've got extra modules, you can just have a look at our video tutorials to find out how to use those. So let's get stuck in and let's create a page. So you've just logged into the admin area, click on pages content blocks, and I'm going to create a new page over here called Bryn. Then I'm going to do a heading. Um, now, when you're creating your headings, it's good to use words that people would use in a search engine because, again, these will help you get found. So I'm going to call this Web Design Palmerston North. So if I wanted to get found by search engines for that phrase, then I would type that in and I'd make it a heading as well because Google knows that headings are more important than just normal text on a page. So we select that just by clicking and dragging across it. And then we go design styles, headings, and I'll make it a medium heading. And then you'll just type sample text. So this is an example of some text. If I wanted to, just like Microsoft Word, I can format this text as well. If I double click the word text and click bold, it becomes bold. If I click and drag, from example, oops, did that wrong. Just do that again. Click and drag from example of uh, to of and click italic, then that becomes italic. Now I, wa I might want to get fancier still and put an image in there. So I go insert image and then click on this browse icon here. So this shows you all the images that have already been uploaded to the website. But you can also add your own just by clicking on this plus icon here and then selecting an image like that. And we can see it's just uploaded the image. If you're fancy and you have multiple images, then you can bring over your file browser like this and you can select a few images. Just click and hold the shift button to select all of them and then drag them across like that. And that's just uploaded all of those images. There they are there. Right, so I'm going to use this image here, and all I have to do is double click, and that's now selected it. Again, just like we did with the title, 
always name the image a human readable name. There's two reasons for this. Again, it helps Google find your page, but it also helps people that are visually impaired because they've got software that reads the image description. So we're going to call it Web Design Palmerston North. Um, and because I know the image is actually big, I'm just going to tell it to be 300 pixels wide because normally that's the size that you'd put an image on a page. And there we go, like that. Right, so now what I want to do is also create a link to one of my other pages, such as Contact Us. So I'll type click here to contact us now. And if I select the words click and here, and then I go insert link. Instead of typing the URL in here, I can now choose one of the links in my link list, such as home, contact us, <clears throat> or even the shop or about us. So we go contact us and OK. So now when they click on that link, it's going to take them straight to contact us. If I wanted to link outside of my website, I'd do it like this. Click here to visit Spinning Planet. And if I select Spinning Planet, and I'll just use the shortcut icon up here and go insert edit link and I'll type in the full URL http colon forward slash forward slash you have to put that first then www.spinningplanet.co.nz um, I'll also do this other thing down here though I'll make the target a new window so that means that when they click on the window it's not going to close down your website or replace your website it's going to open Spinning Planet and a new tab and I'll show you how that works shortly so I go OK, and then I click Create Page. So we can see here we've got a new page called Bryn. If I click on that, it shows we've got our heading up here. We've got some text and an image. We've got the internal page link. If I click on that, it goes to our contact page. I'll just go back. And if I click on here to visit Spinning Planet, it's going to open up a whole new tab, but it's still going to have our website in the background. So that's how easy it is to create a page or edit a page. You'll notice that now we're logged in, there's this nice big edit icon. So this just saves you time. You don't have to click on admin and then go into the content area. Just click on edit. And now we can just go and edit that page directly. What you will notice though, is that we don't have our Brin link up the top here and we want it to be up there. So let's go back to our admin area back to pages content blocks and just right click on that Brin link there and go copy link address. So now we click back on our control panel and go to site links and what we want to do is create a new site link. Remember the site links are the links at the top and I go create link and I call the link name is Brin and I just paste that URL in there and go create link. So now if we click back on to view our website, we can see that there's a new Brin link at the end. However, I don't want it at the end, I want it right beside the home button. So let's go back into the admin area and we'll reorder those links. So presently Brin is number six, we can see down here. I now want that to be number two and I want about us to be number six. And of course you can reorder these numbers here but let's just click update and then go back and view the site. And now Bryn is the second site link in. Okay, so that's how easy it is to create site links, create your own pages, and just an overview of the admin area. In the next video tutorial, I'm going to show you some more advanced formatting, how to add a video, how to add a link to a PDF on your website, and uh, a bit more about site links and what you should be knowing.